Hey, it's Rob Digner, an entrepreneur, and haven't things taken a turn? You know, I was one of the people who thought one of the last things to be taken with AI was going to be creative things like music and art, all that stuff. I thought that was going to be solely restricted for people. And instead, it's been the opposite. And even founder, OpenAI founder Sam Altman said as much. Well, you got to figure that programmers, you're up next. And tech workers are beginning to panic about the possibility of AI coming for their jobs. I mean, let me tell you this. Recently at my own job, I had a problem that needed a coding solution. And sure enough, I was able to go into chat GBT. It took a few iterations, not going to lie, but I was able to solve that coding issue. So since ChatGBT captured headlines late last year, workers have taken to the anonymous network site Blind to question whether AI will take their jobs and make them obsolete. Software engineers on the site, which requires users to verify their employee email addresses, have written dozens of posts on the issue, from polls on when AI will replace them to admissions that the golden age is over. And it's funny because we used to look at software engineering as this top profession, like only the top smartest people could be in. And it's like, wow, actually, now that you think about it, a lot of the code is out there, like the data is here. You can replicate this and possibly even exceed it. So, of course, you had your post, uh, someone saying software engineering is a dying profession, another user writing. And since ChatGPT is already great at writing its own prompts, you're pretty much up the creek without a paddle. And there were a bunch of replies to these types of posts with, uh, you know, some users claiming that the profession is fine. Another thinking that all white collar jobs are going to die. In a specific post, a blind user created a poll asking whether young software engineers are screwed. The survey generated more than 12,000 votes with 41% responding yes, while 37 responded that opportunities remain unchanged and 21% said that there are more opportunities now. Several other workers on blind said that they are anxious about what the future of AI will mean in general. And uh, one supposed Google engineer said that they wondered if it was time to start their career from the ground up again. An Amazon employee said that they feel the craft they've been owning for 15 years is changing. And he was even posted, yesterday I played with ChatGBT4 and seeing the results left me with a sense of dread and sadness. I can relate to this heavy because when I started to see what it could do, I started to question even my own facets, uh, different things that I do or thought that I was special in, realizing, oh, it's not that special. A machine can do it better, quicker, faster. And I've seen in my real life, a lot of people are in denial, like they're just avoiding it, like it's not here. They think, oh, we've weathered similar things like this before, and it's not the case. This is something entirely different. This really begs the question, what is the point of people at a certain point? And you can see with the tech companies, they're all, if you listen in on any of the earnings this past couple of weeks, you will see that they are all betting big on the future of AI. And we already know that OpenAI has begun teaching its AI software engineering. So yes, it's a direct threat to software developers. In fact, Stability AI CEO Imad Mistake has even predicted there will be no programmers in five years. And this, keep in mind, we've been dealing with massive layoffs recently as well as cuts and software engineers have been hit the hardest by this. Still, there are some users that are optimistic that AI will be beneficial to software engineers. One blind poster who works at Shopify compared the doom and gloom over ChatGPT to the negative rhetoric around 5G, the blockchain, and Web3. Another user doubted that most companies would be advanced enough to adapt the technology. And actually, when I'm thinking about it, I think that AI will ultimately reduce the need for a lot of companies in general. Right. I think the top companies that have access to AI and as these tools become more available, people will be able to do them by themselves with greater ease than having to go through all these different companies. Even as far as when it comes to content, when it comes to generative AI, I thought about using AI to help me with my videos and even uh, help me produce more content. So I think that's the message for right now is use AI as a productivity accelerator and not as an enemy. And that's how I'm looking at it. I'm using it for what we have now and we'll see how it all turns out in the future. Again, I go back to my prediction that creativity was going to be the last thing that gets replaced. It's going to be very hard to predict this stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been The Ignorant Entrepreneur. I'm out.